Welcome to Godzilla Raids again. As we delve into the movie, we find ourselves at the crossroad of a legendary predecessor and a rushed disappointment. Godzilla's thunderous return and stumble into Godzilla Raids again. The kaiju genre was forever altered. The groundbreaking success of the original left an indelible mark. Akira Ifakube's iconic score, notably the haunty Godzilla rules, resonated with audiences globally. The original film's meticulous storytelling, profound symbolism and dark undertones struck a chord that echoed through the corridors of cinematic history. Enter Godzilla Raids Again, a film grappling with its own ambition and the weight of expectation. It premiered on April 24th, 1955, with the hopes of replicating the success of its predecessor. However, what followed was a narrative departure and a rushed production that would ultimately disappoint. AJ Subaraya, the pioneering mind behind the original special effects, returned to bring Godzilla to life, and a newly introduced Anguirus through the technique of suitmation. However, the hurried production led to limitations in the execution of these special effects, creating a visual disconnect compared to the original's meticulous craftsmanship. The monumental Godzilla vs Anguirus battle, intended to be a cinematic milestone, was mared by technical limitations and rushed choreography. The Clash of Titans, while a noteworthy first in kaiju cinema, failed to capture the epic spectacle envisioned by the filmmakers. Godzilla Raids again attempted to strike a balance between monster spectacle and human drama. However, the rushed script and limited character development left audiences yearning for more depth found in the original film. The film's destruction scenes struggled to match the impact of the original's miniatures. The rushed nature of the production resulted in the scenes that lacked the visceral impact of its predecessor. Like its forerunner, Godzilla Raids again wove a narrative laced with nuclear symbolism. However, subtlety found in the original's exploration of post-war anxieties were replaced with a more superficial treatment. Masaru Sato's school, while attempting to capture the haunting essence of its predecessor, struggled to escape the shadow cast by it, Akira Ifakube's legendary composition. The rushed nature of the production impacted the score's cohesion and the emotional resonance. The critics' response to Godzilla Raids again was a stark departure from the acclaim showered upon the original. Critics lamented the rushed production, lack of narrative, lack of narrative depth, and a missed opportunity to build on the thematic richness of the first film. Various versions of the film, some with alternate endings, underscore for the tumultuous creative process. These alternate versions hint at the internal struggle with the production team to find a cohesive narrative amidst the constraints. Despite its flaws, Godzilla Raids again marked a pivotal moment in the internationalisation of the kaiju genre. The film opened the door to the future, collaborations between Toho and international studios influencing the global trajectory of Godzilla. 